So Grand Bend, Ontario is on your radar and you're thinking of moving here, but you want to know what it's like to actually live here in the summertime, but maybe you're curious about what the winter is like. You're in the right place because in this video, we are going to go over all of the pros and cons of what it's like to live in Grand Bend. We're going to talk about how great it can be in the summertime, what the lifestyle is like, what amenities you have access to. We're going to talk a little bit about the real estate, but we're also going to talk about the cons. Why might you not want to live here? And really excited about this video. So let's get right into it. If it's your first time to the channel, welcome. I'm your host, Justin Conoco. The Prime team and I have been relocating people to Grand Bend for a very, very long time. We've done videos in the summertime, we've done videos now in the winter time, and it's been amazing to see this area grow. Our family has tons and tons and tons of history, so if you're looking for the insider information, you wanna know about lake level effects, all that fun stuff, make sure to connect with me at the information below to book a one-on-one, -on -one, especially if you're thinking about relocating to Grand Bend, Ontario. So Grand Bend, Ontario is a very unique town. Many would call it a resort town, but it's actually turning into the city on the coast with tons of incoming development. It's one of the reasons why so many people are relocating here and waterfront property is looking like 20 to 30,000 a front foot for a tear down. You're talking Muskoka prices during the bull run of Muskoka and there's only so much lakefront property available here. So one of the reasons many people are relocating. The history of Grand Bend actually is super interesting because it was initially a logging town and the channel that you see behind me known as the cut was man-made. If you take your family here, something to pay attention to is this portion of water right here can be so a place where there's undertow and the water going out from the channel and in from the lake can be a bit of a hazard. Also, if you're visiting in the winter time, there's an ice shelf that forms right out onto Lake Huron. Be super careful about that ice shelf because underneath that ice shelf is a frozen lake. There are signs everywhere warning people not to go out onto the ice shelf, but I wanted to mention it into this video because you will still see tourists walking out there because it looks like a frozen desert, but it is not. But now let's get right into the pros and cons. So the first pro is the beautiful sandy beaches. Literally world renowned, this beach has been featured in National Geographic for its epic sunsets behind me. You can actually see some dune grass that protects this gorgeous sandy beach from erosion. If you're visiting, please don't walk on the dune grass. That's a big no-no in this area, but you'll see signs posted everywhere. Another thing I'll mention about the beaches is yes, this is Main Beach, which is the most popular. It actually goes all the way down to Oakwood where there's some of the most prime real estate you'll ever see on the other side of the cut is the smaller beach and actually if you go down even further you get to some of the private beaches that you get access to if you purchase in South Cots, Beach of Pines or Huron Woods. Those are deeded private beaches. You cannot drive and just park there. They are monitored in the summertime. If you need information on which beaches you can actually travel to just hit the information below and connect with us and then if you go further down you're at the Pinery Provincial Park which has literally kilometers and kilometers of gorgeous beaches. Now if you're looking to relocate to the area I can show you which different beaches you have access to and where the real estate may be a little bit more valuable if you buy in the right place because of those access points and what lifestyle is actually like. Another super hack is if you get a fat bike, you can actually bike all the way down to the Pinery from some of those beaches. It is epic. But the flip side of that is, Justin, what do I do in the winter time? Like right now, there's nothing to do in Grand Bend. That would bring us to our second point. We'll flip to a con. Everybody thinks there's nothing to do in Grand Bend in the winter time. That is incorrect. I travel all over southwestern Ontario. We do tons of work in London, Elgin, bigger cities, smaller cities. And I can tell you Grand Bend is one of the busiest cities throughout the entire year. You just have to know where to go and what to do. You'll still see people walking down here on a daily basis. I absolutely love coming down here and just seeing the epic ice dunes that form off this lake. Photography is unbelievable. Sunsets happen year round. Not only that, Pinery Park actually offers great snowshoeing, cross-country skiing. You'll see snowmobiles ripping down the highway. And, you know, really people do enjoy the winter lifestyle here. And it's something that has been a hidden secret for a very, very long time. I know the locals know it, but if you want to become a local, definitely let us know. And I can show you all the things there are to do in the wintertime. 
Which brings me to my second point. So some people think Grand Bend is a small town, but that can be deemed a pro or a con, depending on how you look at it. Now let's talk about the pro side of things. Yes, from a population base of say just over 2,000 people, having a quiet small town, it's a great place to raise your kids. Historically, it's been a little bit more of a resort town with a ton of new residential development and a lot of people relocating from Kitchener, Newmarket, Ottawa, the London area. Grand Bend is quickly becoming a place that is at the top of people's list to move to to raise their young families because of what you have access to. Now the con side of that is if you're in a growing or emerging market and you want access to everything that you can have in the big cities, maybe this isn't the market for you. We have other markets like London and Sarnia, Kitchener, Woodstock, and many, many other places that we can refer you to, but it depends on the type of lifestyle that you're trying to achieve for yourself. So last but not least, let's cover the real estate. The pro, you can own some of the most beautiful real estate, I would say on the planet. If you see these lakefront properties in prime fall, spring, or summer season, it is absolutely epic. I'm actually a huge fan of this place in the winter time, but the first con that jumps to people's minds is the price points to own those properties. You can be 20 to 30,000 a front foot for a teardown, meaning you could pay a million and a half to two million just for a property that you're gonna knock down and build a new one or renovate the existing existing property. That said, I would say from an affordability standpoint, if I told you you can go back to Muskoka in the early 2000s, buy a property for you know a million to two million and sit on that property for 10 to 20 years, the valuation of some of those properties today can be plus $10 million to 20 million. It is absolutely unbelievable. And that's because they're not making any more lakefront. But keep in mind that is not the only real estate in Grand Bend. There's a lot more affordable options for you. There's some new home developments that we are privy to that we can give you first access to a lot of the products that are out there. There is a wide range from semi to detached to homes that are in conventional neighborhoods to homes that are in those really Muskoka feeling neighborhoods as well too, like South Cots, Huron Woods, and Beach of Pines. If you want more insights as to what Grand Bend is actually like, check out our Grand Bend full vlog tour. We're gonna do them in the winter, in the summer, in the fall, in the spring, so we can show you all aspects of what life in this area is really like. And the last thing that I want to mention when it came to the real estate side of things is the developments that are happening in Grand Bend. The strip that used to be just t-shirt shops and a lot of rundown buildings has been being developed over the last couple years. There is a whole bunch of new home subdivisions coming. McDonald's, Telerama came to town. And when you start seeing those types of companies investing in these markets, you know where the puck is going. You see lots of excavators, lots of dirt getting moved around. So if you're looking to invest into an emerging market, this could potentially be one for you. So let me know what you thought of this tour. Is Grand Bend on the top of your list of a place to relocate to? If not, let me know where you're thinking of moving if we haven't covered it on this channel we will definitely try and do that for you if you're looking for an agent in any of those markets or in this one make sure to contact us below we have one of the best referral networks on the planet and our entire goal is to educate and inspire this channel is for the people. Let me know what you want on it. If I didn't cover anything, I'll get to it. I promise you. And make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button so you don't miss our full vlog tours, all of the off-market properties we drop, and the market intelligence and insights. If you want a real look at what's happening in the real estate market, no fluff, not a cheesy realtor saying this is the best time to sell, check out our market update videos. We really try and just give you the facts so you can make the best decisions for yourself and your family. But for now, I can't wait to see you at our next property tour.